Hey, what's going on guys? How's everyone doing today? I'm doing well, thank you for asking. Well, welcome to another episode of The Body Beat Down with me, Michael, your incredible host. Yes, I could insert the little opening, the body beat down, and the closing body beat down, but I ain't gonna do that. I'm just recording this on my webcam right now. Just uh, kind of sharing with you my workout that I just did. I uh, did back today. Of course, you know I'm on the same routine that I'm doing for six weeks. Today finishes up week number two. What that is for me is I picked one exercise, one movement per body part to do for six weeks. That means Monday, I'm just using my compact hack press. Tuesday, I'm just doing uh, Smith Machine flat bench. Wednesday, I'm just doing sitting alternate dumbbell curls and uh, one, uh, two arm, one dumbbell uh, skull crushers laying down. Thursday, I'm doing sitting dumbbell shoulder presses. And Friday, I'm doing Smith Machine bent rows. And my theory behind that, my science behind that is just kind of uh, to see what each of these movements actually do for you instead of doing three, four, five different movements per body part and not knowing what each one does and what it exactly hits. Uh, take one movement and just do that exercise for say six weeks and at the end of that six weeks just kind of assess kind of the workout and how you feel about it. That's just kind of something I'm doing. I think it's interesting personally to do and uh, to be honest you could take uh, a dozen different exercises per body part and do this a dozen different times but I don't know if I'll do that but in order to get kind of a uh, a nice representation of what everything does that would probably be what you need to do I'm not gonna do all that though why well number one oh I don't want to do that number two I bought some new uh, accessories for my cable machines and stuff you know I got a rope I got the double D handles and I got the uh, V bar and I haven't got to work out with them because I got them right as I started this program so I'm not even getting to use my new accessories I did go in there and just kind of play around with stuff but uh, anyway I just want, uh, wanted to share my little workout right here today uh, now today I went lightweight um, I don't know why I went lightweight instead of pushing myself I think I think my theory behind it was I just wanted to make sure I got a little bit of some weight in there, just medium hip, you know, medium to heavy weight right there with the 140 I went up to, and uh, but I was really wanting to get in the volume, uh, get in the uh, uh, the sets and the reps, so you can see I got all good reps there, and uh, I really I really felt the movement. Uh, sometimes we forget to really concentrate on the movements that we're doing, and I do find myself still doing that uh, time to time. Uh, not really hitting the movement exactly how I want to. Uh, I'm just kind of getting the movements done. And that's where we kind of fail a lot of times whenever we're working out. Is uh, kind of the old body-mind kind of muscle bind, uh, body connection, you know, thing. And uh, part of that is really making sure that you're hitting the area of the muscle that you're wanting to hit. And getting a decent contraction... Uh, in there while you're doing it instead of just kind of doing the movements, you know, and a lot of times when we work out back uh, we have a uh, a Bad habit of using more arm which yeah, you have to use your arms, you know, your arms are used for everything But we want to try to make sure that we get that squeeze in our back whenever we're doing a lot of back work Or we want to get that nice extension in the arm to really stretch out those lats and uh, sometimes we don't really do that. So, uh, and I find myself guilty of that as well. Did I not even take a drink? Ah, oh, I'm parched. So, anyway, I just kind of wanted to show you my little workout there. Uh, tomorrow is deadlifts, as you can see at the corner there on that paper. Uh, I've got that ready to go for tomorrow. And uh, Saturdays are my deadlift day. And uh, I also throw in maybe another movement. Uh, usually it's just some uh, light bicep workout, just like one exercise. So I might do that tomorrow as well. But it's definitely deadlift day tomorrow. 
Now, what am I going to do as far as that on my deadlifts? I may go with the more volume type workout with the more sets and the more reps and uh, just keeping it light and uh, trying to just kind of work my muscles and my back and my everything just kind of get everything kind of connected and, and get a good workout that's what I'm thinking I might do so uh, I think last Saturday I went for a PR so I think this week I need to go ahead and go back and do some lighter a little bit you know more reps and stuff so and also uh, to get off of this here let me show you my wonderful meal I made tonight now this is very standard of what I make this is the kind of food that I make every day um, it is uh, chicken tenders uh, and uh, some salmon a salmon a uh, little piece of salmon and uh, all natural flavoring there it's black pepper and Mrs. Dash and uh, uh, whenever I whenever I cook that I put it in a uh, my air fryer and I wrap each you know I wrap the chicken up together and then the fish up by itself and I'll put maybe sometimes I put soy sauce and sometimes I'll put uh, I have the super low calorie vinaigrette dressing it's only got five calories per serving and uh, sometimes I'll uh, put some of that on there and then some Mrs. Dash and black pepper etc roll them up in the foil and stick them in the air fryer and let them go and that's what I did before I worked out I got all this going and cooking and doing good and uh, then I had my I ate my pre-workout worked out as soon as I got done went in the kitchen everything was ready to go so that's what I like doing uh, if you can kinda plan stuff like that and do stuff like that it makes uh, working out and it makes your diet and, and all that kind of stuff pretty easy if you can kind of you know work it off in there so as you can tell I made a nice little conglomeration and what I did with my rice this time and I've just started using some little vegetables in my rice because uh, we got a big bag in the freezer so I thought I'd use some what I did today though was in my little bowl the very first thing I did was just take a little handful of those vegetables like uh, it's green beans and corn and uh, some carrots I think and then I took a uh, half an onion and I sliced up an onion stuck in there and then I put my uh, half cup of dry rice on that and then I filled it up with water stuck it in the microwave and uh, you know let it do its thing and then start it again and let it steam and let it do its thing and all that good stuff and by the time I was ready to go eat it man that stuff was good it was all cooked, all good, all nice and soft and yummy and good. I didn't put any soy sauce or anything in it this time. Nine times out of ten, I put soy sauce in my rice because I like it. I like the way it tastes. But, uh, and then the Brussels sprouts. I love Brussels sprouts. I don't eat them hardly ever. I normally eat uh, asparagus. Brussels sprouts I can't find in a big enough portion. You always get these little tiny bags and little tiny portions and little tiny this and I'd like a big, huge, like 10 pound bag of Brussels sprouts, you know? That's what I'd like to have. But I did buy some smaller little bags uh, a couple days ago at the store. And uh, so I made me some Brussels sprouts to go with it, just boiled them. And uh, when it's all said and done, I put just like a little bit of salt on my Brussels sprouts. I gotta have a little salt on my Brussels sprouts because they're like little cabbages. So you gotta have a little salt on the cabbage on the Brussels sprouts. So very healthy meal good stuff to eat uh, I recommend uh, sticking with stuff like this it's really easy on the stomach it's easy on uh, your digestion your heart your arteries and everything and it's, it's just so good and uh, so full of some yummy yummy goodness uh, really healthy and this is pretty much what I eat uh, six days a week and even on my cheat day that I have on Saturdays I end up eating mostly healthy anyway that day so uh, today I did splurge a little bit and on my breakfast burrito I always have a breakfast burrito if I have tortillas that I use I use a low calorie super thin tortilla uh, my wife bought a big tub of some Wendy's chili like the big like family tub and I haven't ate any of it because I try to stay away from that stuff even though Wendy's chili is the best chili on the planet I took one little tablespoon stuck it in the skillet 
fried it up with my eggs and stuff and I put that in my breakfast burrito so that was just like a little treat uh, again a tablespoon and uh, then for lunch I had kind of an early lunch and I had an urge and uh, it's one of my favorite little foods one of my side dishes uh, I made I put some french fries in an air fryer and made me some french fries and uh, had a nice big plate of some french fries they were good had me a little thing of some ketchup and uh, so I kind of had me a little treat today but I didn't overdo it and uh, that's no, not normal for me to do uh, for something like that but I just had a hankering for it so I really enjoyed it and sometimes you gotta give yourself that special little treat even though it's not your cheat day you know if you've made progress if you've done good if you stick to everything you got a program and you're good and you're, you know uh, give yourself that one little treat and let's not forget though that it's also not just about calories in and calories out it's about putting good healthy calories in okay uh, if you're sticking to say a 2000 calorie diet uh, if you're eating 2000 calories of cheeseburgers and fries that's not healthy and that's uh, it, it don't matter if you lose weight or not on the outside you might be losing weight but on the inside your insides are suffering uh, your arteries, your heart, all that stuff, blood pressure, cholesterol, gout, you're going to get all kind of problems eventually. So it's not just about calories here and calories there and burning this and burning that. It's about you need to fuel your body with the appropriate foods. That's what's important. That's what's going to make the difference. And that's why I'm different uh, than I was a year ago, not even a year ago. That's why I can go outside right now and jog a mile because I eat this instead of that other garbage. So your best foods to have are chicken, turkey, uh, fish, canned, light tuna and water if you can, or any kind of that kind of packaged tuna is okay if you read and make sure you're getting kind of what you're looking for. You know, you can only be so picky whenever you're getting stuff from the store because you're kind of at their mercy. So for me, the light tuna is amazing. I make tuna wraps out of it all the time. I just take the light, uh, the tuna out of the can, put it on my wraps, fill my wraps full of all kind of good stuff. And then I, I eat those uh, for supper, lunch, everything. I love them to death. Really quick and easy too, and good for you. So anyway, I kind of wanted to touch on my little workout that I did today and kind of the plans and what's going on and, and my deadlifts tomorrow. Kind of show you a little picture here of my my uh, amazing food that I had today and uh, hope that everybody's having a great day <coughs> and I hope you like my little background there I just changed that I normally don't have a busy background on my wallpapers now I do have two monitors so uh, it's kind of like a nice big wallpaper picture there so it, uh, it it's calming something nice if you're on your computer a lot try to do something calming and nice I did have some uh, a crazy background that I made it's kind of like blood, <laughs> blood and craziness and uh, stuff like that. So anyway, guys, I just wanted to kind of touch base with you. And uh, on this beautiful Friday, we're going to have a long weekend. Uh, I do work for the school system, so I get a long weekend. I believe it's President's Day Monday. And uh, got to stay focused. You can't think. Uh, let things in life get you uh, off track. You know, uh, I had another video shot and kind of was discussing things that's going on and kind of staying on track and all this kind of stuff. But I didn't want to really put that out there. And and uh, I, I started editing it and I just deleted it. I said, nah, I ain't doing it. So uh, just know that a lot of times even the people that you love the most can throw the biggest daggum wrench into your life. And uh, whether they mean to or not. So, uh, take, take caution, take care of yourself, and uh, try to ignore and leave everything else out because what they're doing is not exactly what's always great for you, and you can't, can't let them upset you and get you kind of, you know, off track. It's, we're easily uh, off track, you know, to get off track, so um, we got to stay strong and vigilant and work hard and take care of ourselves because at the end of the day we are our own best friends we're the only ones that really care about ourselves uh, the way that we should and uh, you know 
we got to put all of our effort into ourselves. So guys, I'm going to shut this video down. Hope you have a great Friday. Look forward to tomorrow. I'm gonna, I will de uh, do some video of my deadlift a little bit. Uh, I usually try to... Uh, God, I can't talk. Maybe I need some liquor. Uh, I usually do try to video my deadlifts, uh, even though everybody's seen a deadlift a million times and seen me do it. But I still try to video my deadlifts just because, you know, I don't know. I do it. You enjoy it. Watch it. So anyway, guys, thanks for watching this little video of the body beat down. Stay awesome. Inspire someone today, including yourself. And don't forget, get up, get out, get red. Do it to it. We'll see you next time on the body beat down with me, Michael. Let me get my mouse over there where it needs to be. You're an incredible host. See y'all later.